name is Serena, how we do it? YouTube, Facebook, how we doing? It is Eric Cornish, the Voice of the Valley, as we get ready for another big night here of OVW Rise. We are going live at the top of the hour at 7 o'clock Eastern time. We have got a huge, huge show for you coming up tonight, so I cannot wait. We are on the road to March Mayhem, and I want to tell you, if you want to get your seat for March Mayhem, whether it's here at Davis Arena or whether it's on pay-per-view, go to OVWTix.com. That's OVWTix.com. AJ McKay, hey, how you doing, buddy? What's going on? What are we doing right now? Doing a little pre-show, getting ready for OVW Rise. I got to tell you, I'm so excited tonight. We have so much action lined up for everybody tonight. It's going to be absolutely insane tonight. If you uh, haven't gotten your pay-per-view subscription yet, you need to do that because Saturday night, I'm telling you, March Mayhem is going to be absolutely off the charts. We already know the main event, two titles on the line. This is unprecedented. We have got the OVW National Heavyweight title and the OVW Heavyweight title both on the line in a tag team match. Stick around because Rise is coming up next. Welcome to OVW. Wireless Arena. Tickets at OVWTix.com. There's an electricity in this building. We take what we want. Click. Oh, click. Welcome to OVW. March 16th, you have no more chance to run. Your Rush Vision Champions, Ocho Pesos, a star.
and gentlemen, welcome to the world famous Davis Arena here in Louisville, Kentucky. I am the East End villain, Josh Ashcraft, alongside the lovely Linda Kay. And we thank you so much for joining us for the first hour of OBW Overdrive. Absolutely. We are just days away from March Mayhem. Josh, I am excited. Sounds like Davis Arena is Oh, Davis Arena is rocking and rolling, and we are on the way, like you said, to March Mayhem. Ladies and gentlemen, go to obwtix.com. That is obwtix.com. We have limited seating available. We've got a huge night of action, though, Linda. Absolutely. We're about to kick it off with a huge one here, and there's only one man who can do it for us. Eric, my man! Tell him who's fighting. I will do it, Linda. Your opening contest for Rise is set for one fall. Introducing first from Mercy, France, this is Bo! Big Bo! makes his return to the Davis Arena. You know, this this young man, Linda, he's, he, he's something that you have to see to believe. I mean, this man is gigantic. Absolutely, look at the size of Bo. I mean, he is legit seven feet tall. I mean, I don't think we've seen anybody this tall at OVW since the big show. And his opponent from Louisville, Kentucky, Dustin. Jackson! Dustin Jackson, a homegrown superstar here from Louisville, Kentucky. Dustin Jackson, you know, he's someone that cut his teeth coming up through the, the ranks at OBW. He's a former television champion, former tag team champion. Right, Dustin, while making his return here at Davis Arena, looks like he's got his work cut out for him facing the tall, the strong, and dominating Bo. That he does, oh! oh! And Bo just cuts him down to size with a clothesline. Now Bo. Oh! Josh. Those double overhand chops right to the chest. That could stop your heart if you're not careful. I didn't no, just wait a hear second. that, wait a second. I felt that. Look at the height that Dustin Jackson got on that as Bo Amir throws him with ease. Oh, with that aggression, that aggressive oh. behavior. And I don't know if that's gonna work on him, Dustin, man. Well, DJ trying to throw some hands to do whatever he can. Bo now just flings him back into the corner and charges through DJ. And again, just flinging a man. There's a full grown man that he's just handling with ease. And you mentioned, Josh, that this is the return for Bo. I mean, we last saw him at this year's Nightmare Rumble. He dominated that match and actually had the most eliminations in the Rumble. You know, that he did, and that was one of the scariest things I think I've ever seen, is someone the size of Bo just going out there and absolutely dominating the field in OVW. It took multiple members of our roster to get him out of the ring. And now Dustin Jackson, Let's back up to the midsection, and that's that vertical leap of DJ. He's one of the best drop kicks in OVW history. That man could get up there, but hang on. Oh, Dustin tried to come off. He got caught by Bo. Bo's got about brain oh. damage out of Bo. The Dominator. Oh, and Dustin Jackson trying to, to do anything he can. He's got his bell rung. The OVW faithful here getting a little bloodthirsty, but they want that look dominator at this. and they are getting it. There it is. <laughs> Emphatic victory by Bo. Here is your winner, Bo. What a statement made by Bo here tonight in the Davis Arena, Linda. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for hour one of Overdrive. And we're stomping, we're stomping our way right towards March Mayhem. 
Absolutely. It is just days away for a huge pay-per-view that you can get at ovwtickets.com to get here at Davis Arena. Limited seats are available. Well, let's take a look at some of these matches. We're gonna see, we're gonna see Jay De Niro here tonight taking on Cal Hero. Uh, tonight is going to be one of those nights where everybody's gonna wanna get a victory on the way to March Mayhem. They wanna roll in with some momentum. Absolutely. Let's show how you can join us at March Mayhem. It's OVW March Mayhem, presented by The Unit. Get your tickets now. Where'd he go? He hit me in the that? bottom. I didn't see him. They hit me in the Here bottom. Here we go. You oh, see that? Oh, oh, man, oh, oh, this is him. This is him. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow, the wrestling brand. Presents the toughest moment of the night. Crystal White is here. I didn't think we would see her tonight. Oh, man. Well, Katie Gannon now got a hold of Guitari. Wow. Oh, it just. Shalonce flings Katie into the ring. And... Gave a cat and mouse out here. And, oh, wait, Carson oh. Drake just scrambling away. Oh, the toughest moment of the night brought to you by Hot Point, America's hardest working appliances. The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Gitari and Shalance. He is the most successful man in professional wrestling, Carson Trey. While Carson Drake likes to call himself the most successful man in professional wrestling, one of the things he has not succeeded at is enduring himself to the OVW faithful. Absolutely, they are letting him hear it. I don't hear many cheers, I hear more boos. Yeah, just the chorus of boos that rain down anytime Carson Drake steps through the curtain at the Davis Arena. It's absolutely astonishing how much these people hate this man. And his opponent, from Cincinnati, Ohio, the exception, Dalton McKenzie. Now we've seen the exception, Dalton McKenzie, making his debut in OVW just a couple short weeks ago. 
And Dalton McKenzie, has, he's a big boy, Linda. Absolutely. I think Carson Drake has a lot on his hands tonight, even with his lovely ladies with him at ringside. Yeah, Guitari and Chalance Royale flocking to the side of Carson Drake over the course of the last couple of weeks, and it's about the best way you can really put it. Yeah, a new partnership with Carson and the ladies. Do we have a name for the ladies? What is Carson called? Guitar you know, words that I can't repeat on TV or I'll get us kicked off, but that's beside oh the point. Hang on. Carson Drake trying to offer Dalton McKenzie some money to just uh, lay down the old pin me, pay me. Oh, oh is it? Dalton McKenzie saying, Ari, I'm so to whoop your boyfriend's well, behind. Yeah, that. And look at this, Carson Drake, that color elbow tie up, but oh my God, the power of Dalton McKenzie. Oh, man. Since Carson Drake reeling. Carson oh. Drake looks a little bit perplexed. Oh, good God. Bit dazzled. I mean, how could you not after being taken down by the big man? It's like getting hit by a freight train, but now Drake trying to take over in the corner here. Oh. Chop across the chest of McKenzie, but nope. The exception, taking exception to Carson Drake, attempting to do any damage to him, and that right hand got him, though. Down, but Dalton. Huge splash from Dalton McKenzie, and see, there you go again. Carson Drake just rolling outside, rolling out to the uh, uh, the waiting arms of Guitari and Chalance. But look at this, Dalton McKenzie not letting Carson get away. And, you know, you have to wonder, with Saturday coming up, with Von, Ryan Von Rocket and Carson Drake going to face off against each other, do you think there's a little bit of mind games by Carson Drake being played with the ex-girlfriend? Uh, the ex, uh, uh, we don't like to call her a groupie, but uh, Ari Alexander, Guitari out here. Oh, hang on. Look at the power and strength of Dalton McKenzie. Oh! It just lets Carson Drake go. Once again, Carson going back to the ladies. And Carson rolling back over to Chalance and Guitari now. I mean, I would say he's trying to talk strategy, but there's nothing anyone else could say oh that Carson Drake's going to listen to. Dalton McKenzie Ooh. dropping that money. But yes, he didn't want it. You're right, but smart strategy there, though, from Carson Drake. That hot shot now just repeated knees to the sternum Ooh. of Dalton McKenzie. I don't care how big you are, you can't breathe, you can't fight. trying to make his way back up. Oh. That though, aggressive chin lock from Carson Drake. And just digging that wrist in, Linda. You saw how he was rubbing that wrist bone right across the nose and now just pulling at the face of Dalton McKenzie. It's like insult to injury. Absolutely. Once again, Carson Drake trying to force all of his body weight down onto Dalton McKenzie. Chalance and Guitar, dude, what are they doing at ringside over there? Definitely trying to help their man. I mean, this trio, this partnership, they seem to be gelling pretty well. I mean, brand new partnership, I must add, but having them at ringside can only help out Carson as he may need it right now. And now, Carson Drake, trying to do anything he can to get away from Dolph. Oh, Dolph with the power yeah. slam. Just tries to drive Drake through the map. Wait a second, look. Top corner of the screen, Chalance in the face of referee Shane Chesson. Wait a second, what, what Wait, is what that? What is Guitari doing? What did Guitari just hand to Carson? Is that a pearl is necklace? A Carson Drake with, is, is that a pearl? Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's a pearl necklace, but, oh! Oh. Well, wait a second, I don't know who got the worst of that. Dalton Sorry. McKenzie collapses down Carson Drake. Hooks the leg. Evidence. Here is your winner, Carson Drake. Carson Drake picks up the victory, but you got to give a uh, give a hand to Guitari in that pearl necklace. I don't think this one's uh, over between him and Dalton McKenzie. But Saturday, it's on.
90% of natural sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Saturday night, you're going to be taking on Hota Pesos for the OVW Rush Division Championship. Of course. I'm not going to be taking on. I'm going to be winning and securing my first. The following contest is a non-title match set for one fall. Introducing first from Ridgewood, New Jersey, the poster boy, Jason Hendricks. Yeah, Will, you're going to be facing Hota Pesos. Correct. Correct. And look at look at this guy Hendricks here. I, I'm out here scouting him for when I become Rush Division champion. If I if I want a new number one contender for my title. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Texas, is the OVW Rush Division champion, Hota Peso. Hotel yep. Pesos, your OVW Rush Division champion, the man that you will be facing for, Saturday. For, for two more days. For two more days. I already hold two victories over him. Sit down. I already hold two victories over this guy. Why am I not the Rush champion right now? Because you haven't defeated him in a championship contest yet, Will. But you get your chance. That's how that two works. Two more days. Two more days. Two more days. But right now, Hotel Pesos still OVW Rush Division champion. He's going to be facing off against Jason Hendricks here tonight. Someone that wants to climb the ranks in the OVW Rush Division. And you know, a win over Hota Pesos could do that here tonight. Hey, it'd be very impressive. That's what I've already done it twice. Hota, Man, Hota Eddie, his eyes on Hota, you, Will. Hota hasn't beaten me. What are you looking at? You want to go right now? You haven't beaten me yet. I've beaten you twice. 
I've yep. already beaten you twice. You beat him twice, but you haven't beat him when it don't, don't, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. You worry about me on Saturday. Worry about what's in the ring right now. Don't worry about me. I've already beaten you twice. You're just keeping that title warm for me. Don't worry about me. Oh, wait a second. Oh! And that's what happened. Jason Hendricks taking advantage of the situation. I have the ball. The distraction by Will Austin here. Distraction what? My, my superstar presence is distracting him? Superstar presence? No, you were standing there running your mouth to the guy who... To the guy I beat twice already, and it's going to happen a third time on Saturday. No. Well, you know, it, it's it's been almost by hook or by crook, the way that you've gotten the majority you call, of your Call victories. it what you want. I don't care how I'm getting to the top. I'm going to beat you. Don't worry about me. And that's what happens. And, and you're I, right. He should worry about you right now. He should worry about you on Saturday. Right now, he should be focusing on Jason Hendricks, who's taking the fight to the Rush Division champion here. He can focus on Hendricks all he wants, but he has me in the back of his head because he has not beaten me yet, and he won't. Well, you know, and listen to the OBW faithful. They love Hota Pesa. I don't care what they love. The reality is, is the future is the destiny. Who cares? They're from Kentucky. Who cares about these Aww. people? Well. Now Jason Hendricks. Sorry, they're backwoods rednecks. Who cares oh about the God. people? Worry about the future, and the future is Saturday. Hote Peso trying to get something going here against the poster boy, Jason Hendricks. And look at don't, this. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Two more days. Two more, on my time. On my time. Don't worry about me. It's, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, Hote Peso well. once again taking, uh, taking his eye off the ball here. Well, it was fun in games last week with that pinata, but tonight I don't see that same demeanor. I have two victories over Hota. I don't care what you say, my hook, my crook. Oh, hang on, Hota Pesos though, man, just get out of there. I tried to throw him a celebration last week. You see how grateful he is? Oh, a celebration, yeah, that was really was a, a celebration, celebration of Hota. That's why I brought that up. That, that was the most insensitive celebration you could have tried to have thrown, Will. But that's it's beside sensitive. the point. The point I, is. I was celebrating that he's gonna be champion for two more days. That's all it takes is two more days when I finally get my shot. Yep. That's all it takes. Well, hang on, hang on, Jay. There's Hendricks roll up here. There's oh. a reason. There's Wait, a reason count. Manny's been wrestling for the last three weeks, and I haven't, because these people have to oh, pay to watch me wrestle. Hang on, Stunner. Oh. It made to me. Uh, excuse me, Hota Pesos. What? Catches you, can you with that. All you want. On Saturday, he'll pickle you, man. That, that's fine. That's gonna be the last. That's gonna be the last one you're gonna get for a while. Don't worry about that. Here is your winner. Ruta Peso. Osa Pesos, Saturday night will be taking on you want. two more days. Will lost two more days. the OVW Rush to Championship. Keep holding it for me. Keep holding it for me. At March Mayhem. our favorite word huh. like free refills we get it <laughs> that's why at Morgan and Morgan our fee is free that means you don't pay anything unless we win your case injured call Morgan and Morgan for the people.com it's free wrestling a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now.
The following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Louisville, Kentucky, the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer. Saturday night at March Mayhem, it will be two out of three falls to finish out the best of seven series between Shane Mercer and Big Zoe. Mercer is a once-in-a-lifetime type of talent. This man can do all of it, Linda. He can power, he can throw hands, he can fly through the air, it's insane. And here's the opponent. From Spanish Harlem, Blue Rican Sensation, Maximo Suave. Maximo making a name here at OBW. Primarily in the rush division, but for tonight, he's got quite a competitor to face to really make his name here at OBW. That he does, Maximo Suave wants to take on the powerhouse that is the Iron Demon, Shane Mercer. Max, well, let's be honest here. Max with a great showing here tonight against Shane Mercer, could rocket him up the standings here at OBW. Absolutely. But you know that Mercer is focused. Mercer is focused on Big Zone. I think Mercer just said, I'm gonna yeet you into the hard cam. Oh. Is now Maximo Suave takes that arm of Shane Mercer and he's gonna have to try to. Oh, hey. He's gonna say he's gonna have to try to take the power advantage away, but dancing ain't gonna do it. That was a unique way to do it. I mean, Maximo may be trying to get into the head of Shane Mercer yeah. here. Well, it's snatching the head of Shane Mercer here anyway, but look at that. Mercer picks oh. him up and just flings him like he doesn't weigh a thing. Again, you will see some of the biggest powerhouses here in OVW, and you've seen at least two of them here tonight so far. And oh. rolls through, kick to the ear. Sneak off into my max. Takes him down, a little zigzag there, but two count only. Josh, as you mentioned, Shane does have that best of seven match this weekend at March Mayhem. And I know you know Shane and Zoe very well. How excited are you to see the finish of this oh series? Oh my God, I am stoked, but Mercer snatching a man out wow. of mid air and flipping into that power slam. Well, you're right, Big Zoe is someone that I've spent years and years with as part of the LOB Legacy Brutality. And Shane Mercer, he's been like a brother to us the entire time. Mercer was always LOB adjacent. That's what we always like to say. And the fact that the two of them know each other as well as they do. Hold on, hold on. Ow! Oh, God, the thudding ones hurt so much more. Oh, man. Oh, that was painful. Mercer knows Zoe inside and out. Zoe knows Mercer inside and out. And I can tell you, that's the, that's the match that I am looking forward to the most Saturday night at March Mayhem. But hang on. That's if Mercer can get through Maximo. Oh my God, look at the power of Shane Mercer. Max tried to go for a tornado DDT. Mercer holds on. Oh. That is a grown man. If Mercer is just, oh. gets a running start oh. vertical suplex again. The scary strength out of the iron demon. Now the question is, is he gonna be able to do that to Zoe on Saturday at March Mayhem? Will Mercer be able to pull out that power game? Or is, cause Zoe can match it, let's be honest. Two out of three falls, these guys are gonna have to beat the other one, you know, twice in one night. Yes. And that's gonna determine the best of seven series winner. Right, a real test to prove who is the better of the two friends. I mean, you know, it started out as, oh man. It started out as healthy competition between Mercer and Zoe, but the last couple of weeks with this series, it's kind of branched out into something more. I mean, yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, you know, regardless of whether or not I love you, I'm trying to hit you twice as hard as I normally would anybody else because you're my brother, but he's oh. pressing that man. Just straight gorilla press. How strong 
is Shane Mercer. Uh, the crowd chanting along, counting along. On the Iron Demon chant going up in the Davis Arena. And now look at this, Mercer, Maximo Suave is trying to fight and do anything he can to get away from that, but Mercer oh. just lights him up. And almost the limp body of Maximo Suave. Mercer now in full control, getting back in referee Shane Chess's wait, face. Wait, 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 are we gonna see it? Is he going for that moonsault and battery, Linda? Oh, I think so. We've seen him hit it on Zoe, and if he can hit it oh! Saturday night, that might be all it wrote for Zoski. But tonight, that's all she wrote for Max. Your winner, Shane Mercer. The Iron Demon, Shane Mercer, ahead of that two out of three falls match and March Mayhem with Zoe. Mercer is ready. sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow, the wrestling brand. Well, Linda, what a night it has been so far on OVW Overdrive, and we are stomping our way towards March Mayhem this Saturday night. Go to OVWTix.com, that is OVWTIX.com. Limited ceiling seating still available, but Linda, let's talk about the matches. Absolutely, we're gonna have Hota Peso defending his Rush Division title for the very first time against Will Austin. That we will. We're also going to see a six-person tag team match with Ryan Von Rocket, Katie and Crystal taking on Carson Drake, Guitari, and Chalance Royale. But I heard that there was a match that was announced a little bit earlier today, Linda. Absolutely. It is going to be a coal miner's glove on a pole match between Tony Evans and the OBW Country Boy Brewing Media Champion, Cal Hero. That's right, Cal Hero is going to be defending the OVW Media Championship in that coal miner glove on a pole match. We will see that double jeopardy match. Tony Gunn taking on Jack Vaughn, Luke Curtis taking on EC3, all four men in the ring at the same time. And if Vaughn or EC3 get pinned, they lose their championship. It's going to be absolute insanity. But I think it's time for our hour one main event, Linda. So there's only one man that can get us there, Eric 
my man. Tell him who's fighting. It would be my pleasure, villain. The following contest is a non-title bout. Sit for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied by Superior Tony Evans from Hush. Las Vegas. Hush. From Not that music. When I get in this ring, I don't want to hear a single word. Hush. Referee. Rope. Now. Now means now. had to cheat to keep that championship from me. I said he's had to cheat to keep that championship from me. Hush! Now if there's one thing that I don't like in this world, it's a cheater. It's somebody that has to go and stoop low to win. Hush! So this week, Cal is going to have to earn his victory against somebody there's no way in hell he's going to be able to cheat to beat. This week, Jay De Niro is going to lay waste to Cal Hero. Show me respect. Show Jay De Niro respect. Hush. So, Cal, if you're back there, if you've got your little game plan in your head, you're back there and you've got a pair on you and you want a piece of Jay De Niro. Come get it. Hey! 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 His opponent, from Cedarburg, Wisconsin. He is the country boy brewing OBW Media Champion, Cal Hero. Country Boy Brewing Media Champion. It's a new championship. Cal, the first man ever to hold it. We're still getting used to calling it what it is, Linda. Yeah, Cal here holding that title strong, and he's got the crowd here at Davis Arena strongly behind him. Well, Cal here always seems to have the crowd behind him no matter where he goes. They absolutely love this young man, and that's exactly what he is. He is a man that we have watched grow into his own. Linda, you much longer than me. Absolutely, I've seen Cal since day one become the man he has become here. And just seeing him grow in front of our eyes, 
here at Davis Arena, sharing this experience with him has been tremendous. Absolutely, and now Cal Hero in the ring across from Big J De Niro. De Niro the heavy, if you will, for superior Tony Evans. Yeah. Cal Hero's gonna have to use his speed, right, Linda? Absolutely. Now De Niro with the, the weight and the reach advantage here. And the thing is, we, we really haven't seen De Niro actually be involved in too many singles matches. He's, he's always interfering on the behalf oh. of superior Tony Evans. Yeah, he's been the quiet assassin now getting to give his voice to us against Cal Hero. And now, Josh, the shenanigans between Tony and Jay have been going on a bit over two months or so now, but there's no signs of this being resolved. No, not at all. And right now, you're looking at a situation with, again, Cal Hero having to use the speed to try to stay away from the, the, the reach, the power game, the weight advantage of Jay De Niro. De Niro now backing off, giving a clean break in the corner, but you know, Cal, this may be one of the, the toughest tests he's ever had to face. You know, Josh, with as much history as there is with Cal and Tony Evans, there's just as much history, if not more, with Cal and Jay De Niro. They go way back, almost a decade, and I know this, Josh, because I was there with them, ring announcing in Green Bay and all throughout Wisconsin for Great Lakes Championship Wrestling. And, uh, you know, at one point, Jay was actually a mentor to a young Cal hero. Oh! Not yeah. so much now. Yeah, that's not very mentor-like, that cheap shot from De Niro. And look at that, Cal, re Cal refraining from throwing that punch. The referee Daniel Spencer, the respect that he has for the officials here in OVW, stopping him from that. But De Niro just smirking as he stands there and stares down Hero. We've got Tony Evans watching the corner as well. I mean, he's got to be mentally prepared for the huge coal miners club on a pole match against Cal this Saturday at March Mayhem. Yeah, that match, uh, one of the most dangerous uh, things that you can be a part of. De Niro there taking the cheap shot advantage with that right hand to the jaw. Cal, the shot to the back of the head. Now, oh! Yeah, another bolo punch. It's a big right hand coming from way out of well, right field. Lays out Hero. And now De Niro in full control as he just runs Cal's face in that buckle. And Linda, to your point, you're right. Saturday night, that pole miner glove on a pole match. What people don't understand, if you've never seen this before, coal miners in, in you know, the, those mines, they, they were always worried about getting their, their fingers, their hands crushed. So they would take these heavy, thick leather gloves, wrap it in steel chain to give a little bit more padding. Really? Yeah. And, and that's what they would use when they were out there trying to hammer away to get that coal out. And Saturday night, one of the competitors, either Superior Tony Evans or Cal Hero, is going to have that coal miner's glove rammed across their head. Oh! Speaking of hammering away, Jaden Hero crushing Cal Hero in the corner. You know, I, I said how Jay was once a mentor to Cal. I mean, he was a mentor to many in the locker room, including TW3. I got to mention their longtime friendship. You're right, and that's the thing. Jay De Niro has spent a lot of time in the, the Milwaukee area, in the Wisconsin and Illinois independent scene before finding his way here to OVW at the behest, you would think, of superior Tony Evans. I mean, this new attitude, this new demeanor by Jay De Niro, I mean, it just proves how money has motivated Jay when Tony Evans hired him as the insurance policy for him. You know, we've heard it time and time again. Money talks, but look at this. Oh, 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 Cal Hero scooping him up. I, I thought we were going to see a, a show of strength out of Cal, but too heavy was De Niro. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you that are joining us on the live stream on Facebook and YouTube, thank you so much for being here. You get to continue. You don't miss. Oh, got a second of this matchup. It's De Niro just drops an elbow right across the spine of Cal Hero. Cal Hero trying to get his way back up, but he's got the big man dropping those elbows, hammering down on him. This is a lot for Cal to Jay De Niro. back on his feet. Yeah, Jay De Niro trying to take that lower back out, Linda. And you know, you spent a lot of time in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu doing mixed martial arts. You understand how detrimental 
uh, you know, an injury to your lower back can be to any sort of mobility, right? Absolutely. If that is hurt, that restricts you from getting that ground game, getting those holds, getting those locks, and, you know, even trying to get back on your feet. Yeah, just trying to get back up on your feet, I, I could imagine, would, would feel like a bomb going off in your lower back, especially after you try to scoop someone like Jay Denier up and have all that weight land directly on you. You have to wonder about the back of Kyle Hero. Yes, absolutely. He does have the crowd here behind him. Looks like it's helping motivate Cal as he, he's getting to his feet, but, ah, man, the size, the strength, the mobility of Jay De Niro. Quite impressive, as we said, we have not seen many singles matches from De Niro here at OBW. You know, that we haven't, and, and I, I tried to, to crack Jay De Niro's uh, shell, his exterior, mm. so to speak. I tried to learn a little bit more about him, but he just he just would stare me down anytime I'd ask him anything backstage. I, I tried to find footage of him anywhere that I could. I couldn't find anything. The only thing I could find was a prison record. Oh. You gotta wonder, is that where Superior Tony Evans found his heavy? We're back here, ladies and gentlemen, with OVW, o, excuse me, OVW Rise, live, oh, and look at, oh, oh, Cal. Cal once again tried to scoop up Big J De Niro, but De Niro just too, oh, man. too big, too strong, and that spine buster puts Cal down. That damage, Cal Hero has gotten to his back. This is gonna to be tough for him to get back on his feet, as I've mentioned, because we've got Jay De Niro again showing us that power, that strength. Jay De Niro, the heavy of superior Tony Evans, the man who wants to take away that OVW Country Boy Brewing Media Championship from Cal Hero. You know, that championship evolved from the Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Heavyweight Championship, something that, that superior Tony Evans said that you know, it should belong to him. It was his property. Oh, oh my Lord. Lord. Man, Cal. Got Tony Evans there giving his mouth, but I think it's time Tony Hev Evans hushes himself. I don't disagree, but you hear the chance of Fanny Pat going up throughout the, the OVW faithful here in the Davis Arena. Oh. As Cal is just flung hard into that buckle yet again by De Niro. And, and you have to wonder, Linda, did, did Superior Tony Evans give instruction to Jay De Niro to specifically target that lower back of Cal Hero here tonight, knowing that Saturday, Cal's gonna have to use his arms, his legs, his whole body, all of his strength to climb up that pole and pull down that coal miner's glove. And if he, if he gets hurt here tonight, he won't be able to do that, but Cal, desperation elbow. Oh, you know, if Tony did coach De Niro on that, that would be wise. As we know, we've discussed how much pain to your lower back can hold you from doing anything else. I mean, any sport, not just wrestling, but also getting that coal miner's glove. But I can tell you now, there's been many a times that I've actually had to put things on the end of that, that 15, 18 foot high steel pole. I know how difficult it can be. Oh! Snake Eyes there from De Niro just scoops up Cal and sidewalk slam. And I can tell you how terrifying it is to have to try to, to shimmy up that pole to be able to, to get whatever's up there. One wrong move, you're going straight down to the floor. And Jane De Niro softening up Cal Hero before the huge title defense against Superior Tony Evans. And right now, Jay De Niro dominating this match tonight on Rise. Jay De Niro in full control now of Cal Hero. And, and Cal's just trying to do anything he can to get some separation, but De Niro drops a knee right into the lower back of Cal. And you can see the pain etched across the face of Cal Hero. Absolutely, but we have seen Cal Hero crawl, climb, make his way back and getting the victory. So I think, you know, with the crowd behind him, crowd strongly behind him, I might add. Oh, without a doubt. There. And now Cal being held up in one arm. Oh. One arm, the power of Jay De Niro on display in full effect. 
If the crowd is going to help pick up Cal Hero, they got to do it some more because right now he is struggling to get back on his feet. Cal Hero trying to claw, trying to climb his way back up. Oh, hang on, hang oh, on. Whoa. Cal might have been playing possum. Quick inside cradle, but doesn't get the three. Oh. But he oh. does get that clothesline right Man. across the throat from Big J De Niro. That has got to hurt. I mean, all of the damage that's been put on Cal tonight. Will he be ready? I mean, that's the that huge child defense Saturday that holds Miner's Wait. Oh, again, oh. mind games being played oh. by Superior Tony Evans. You saw you saw Jay De Niro with that cutthroat gesture. You gotta wonder, did, did Evans and De Niro pay somebody off? Because it looked mm. like Cal was getting back to his feet. Momentary lapse in concentration. It just drilled again by Jay De Niro. It would not surprise me that sneaky Tony Evans, you know what I said, money talks, money that works in this situation. Again, I mean, think about how much. Oh, hang on, look oh, at that. Wait, wait a minute. Referee Daniel Spencer getting in the face Whoa. of Jay De Niro. Cal uses that momentary there distraction. We go. And Cal now rocking and rolling, showing the heart that he's got. Absolutely. Those jabs and a little flip, flop, and fly, Daddy. What do you think Tony Evans is thinking as he's watching this? Yeah, Tony Evans has got to be thinking, oh my God, I don't want that to happen to me Saturday night, especially if Cal's got that coal miner's glove on. When he does it, De Niro reverses the Irish whip. Oh, hang on, he he caught him yet again. Looks like he goes, no! De Niro went to the well one too many times, and Cal, oh, oh my God! Yeah. Oh, like Hogan yes. slamming Andre, Cal managed to drill. Jay De Niro right in the center of the ring. Wow. Oh. What hard, but hang on there. Hold on. The knee pad covers down. Cal calling for that oh, fanny pack. Wait a minute, leader. Tony Evans up on the apron. Oh. Ducks away from the shot from Cal Hero. Cal drawing with superior Tony Evans. Fanny pack hey. knee. Evans in the ring, doing? Cal. Oh, now yeah. Cal with the jabs. Yeah, yeah Cal. Once Cal. again, a little bit for you. Give me a little something there, daddy. Yeah. Scooping a yeah. slam by Cal Hero. Oh. Cal's looking for the knee. Wait, wait, wait a minute, what Josh. What the hell? What? what? Oh, oh my God. God. What? what is going on? Wait, we need some help out here. The masked men just, just came in through the side door. We have not seen these men for quite a while. What is going uh, on? Why are they attacking Cal? Nightsticks, lead pipes, did, did, did De Niro and, and Evans Wait a minute. pay these guys off? Oh! oh. Wait, no, now wait a oh, second, oh. The, the mess men turning things around, I, if they paid them off, they met, must not have paid them very maybe much, or maybe not they're enough. just trying to stomp away. Oh, we have our officials coming out. Where are these guys going? Oh. Referees, agents, producers from the back. What is happening here? Cal Hero, Gosh. Tony Evans, Jay De Niro, everyone down. Who are these masked men? The, the question is, Has the what damage is, been what done? Is, what does this mean for the championship match on Saturday at March Mayhem? Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory 
to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. OVW is on its first ever North American tour, sponsored by Danos, and we can't wait to see you live. Get ready, London, Kentucky. We're headed your way March 30th at the Laurel London Optimist Club. Bell time, 7 p.m. Friday, April 26th, OBW is coming to Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, and Marathon Music Works. Also on Friday, April 26th, we'll be live in Louisville, downtown at the waterfront once again this year as part of the Kentucky Derby Festival and our annual Run for the Ropes event. Plus, the Derby festivities continue on Thursday, May 2nd, back down on the waterfront for a special live TV broadcast of OVW Rise. We'll see you downtown on the waterfront for that one. And Friday, May 31st, OVW heads north to Des Plaines, Illinois for the first time ever, the Des Plaines Theater, bell time at 8 p.m. It's the first ever OVW National Tour presented by Danos. Get your tickets today and experience OVW Live. To all of the loyal fans of OVW, I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude. Without you, there is no OVW. Without your passion, your energy, your unwavering support, there is no us. There's no talent, no production. Without you, there's no OVW. Thank you for being the driving force behind everything we do. The unsung heroes of our saga. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you OVW fans. We can't do it without you. There's an electricity in this building. We take what we want. Click. Oh, click. Welcome to OVW. March 16th, you have no more chance to run. Your Rush Division champion, Ocho Pesos.
talking about March Mayhem presented by the unit here live in Davis Arena. And Steve, what a show that is going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Katie and Crystal, the Von Rockets! Stop it. Stop it. I can't help it. I mean, would you look at these two, the Von Rockets? Two of the greatest females to ever grace. The Davis Arena Stop by God. your shirt while you say it. I am. That's what's upsetting. It's yeah. hot in here. It's hot in here, right? It's hot it's, here. It gets a little hotter right, when the Von Rockettes the hit the ring here in Davis Arena. Okay. And Steve, Von Rockettes got a lot of issues here of late. Haven't been able to party with Von Rocket as much as they'd like. Because Carson Drake, Lance Royale, and uh, Ari Alexander, returning Ari Alexander, really mucking up the works for him. Guitar and Shalance with Carson Drake. But these two have something to say. The Von Rockets want to talk. You know, Crystal Babe, you know who really ticks me off? That Carson Drake. And it all started with that dumb restaurant date. How stupid does he think that we are? The same date, same restaurant, same corny lines. I mean, come on, Carson. And he I, didn't even get us dinner after all of no, it. No, Carson, I'm blonde. And even I could connect the dots. Come on. Up your game, boy. <laughs> Pathetic. And of course, he thinks he can outstage Ryan. <laughs> Nobody's better than Ryan. He's got better fashion. He's got better taste in women. But because of Carson, I accidentally got hit in the head with a freaking guitar. Oh my, I know. Like, Ryan would never do that to me on purpose, just so everybody's clear. This is 100% Carson's fault. Yes, you know, he's in, so insecure. He can't get the superstars, so he settled for our little Oompa Loompa doubles. I mean, come on. Yeah, well, he's so pathetic, he's probably back there shaking in his little Boy Scout shorts and sweating off all of his cheap ass spray tan. Come on, boy! <laughs> Come on out! <laughs> his spray tan costs hundreds of dollars! So first off, this isn't a spray tan. Secondly, you guys couldn't have waited three minutes for me to go to the worst airport in the country in Louisville. And fly back home. I mean, you guys must be Mariah Carey because you're just obsessed with me. Oh, good one. I'm gonna try to get out of I'm going to try to get out of here quick, kinda of like Ryan Von Rocket did. By the way, where's he at? I mean, all you ladies had to say is that I was just too much man for you. It's true. It's true. <laughs> you know what? I know you're a big time. Star now, sign NWA. NWA, I love it. But hopefully, you know, you could get another extra sponsor with Bluetooth because we all know you couldn't rise to the occasion if you had the time of day. Drake has had enough. We always 
don't have enough. What a piece of garbage to pull. Get your damn hands off her. What the hell is he thinking? Are you kidding? Hold on, Katie Gannon trying to get away from him. Oh. Oh. Yes! Get exactly what he deserves. Carson Drake with a little come up is here. Oh, here comes Guitaria Chalante. All right, Chalante out here with the damage done. Carson Drake reeling in pain, and I hope, I hope it hurts. You know what? Tasting his own medicine, Carson Drake did exactly what he deserves. But folks, we're on our way to March Mayhem, March 16th, but we have so much action to get through tonight. Let's go ahead and take a look at the action you can expect to see in the next hour here on OVW Rise. Well, folks, we're having a little bit of trouble in the back, so let's just go ahead and tell you what you can expect to see on this hour of OVW Rise. You see, we have a huge main event coming up here. That's right, we have got Tusk and Chains versus The Fallen, The Fallen back in Davis Arena. And I can already feel a chill in the air. And it's not from Carson Drake. Be a chill in the air. There is a tension that is palpable as we head into March Mayhem, sponsored by the unit in that double Jeopardy tag team match. OVW National Heavyweight Championship, OVW Heavyweight Championship both on the line. And we're going to hear from all four of those competitors here tonight. Folks, you saw that beautiful graphic but it's not going to be beautiful. It's not going to be pretty what happened Saturday in that double Jeopardy match. Both championships on the line. Folks, more OVW rides on the way. Do not go anywhere. It's the month of madness. We're on the way to March Mayhem. Think by all the wonderful things that make you, well, you. Walking out your front door into the world, holding a loved one, talking to a friend, the sound of your own voice. Now imagine being 19 years old and losing all the things we take for granted. Watching, tossing, turning out of the bed in the morning, having all those same thoughts and feelings and not being able to express them. Imagine being a prisoner in your own body. I fought this with my fate. I fought this with my forever until I saw them for the very first time. They were larger than life, running, jumping, standing up, fighting for what they believe in. Millions of people hanging on every word they spoke. They became my passion, my hopes, my dreams. I was a prisoner in my own body, and they handed me the key and gave me freedom. My name is Sophia Rhodes. Veteran didn't just save my life. Wrestling gave me life. To all of the loyal fans of OVW, I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude. Without you, there is no OVW. Without your passion, your energy, your unwavering support, there is no us. There's no talent, no production. Without you, there's no OVW. Thank you for being the driving force behind everything we do. The unsung heroes of our saga. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you OVW fans. We can't do it without you. And now, Hot Point presents the toughest moment of the night. But Crystal White is here! I didn't think we would see her tonight. Oh, oh man! Well, Katie Gannon now got a hold of Guitari. Shalase flings Katie to the ring. They have a cat and mouse out here. And, oh, wait, Carson oh. Drake just scrambling away. Oh, the toughest moment of the night brought to you by Hot Point, America's hardest working appliances. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the team of Angelica Risk and Shauna Reed. Shauna Reed making her OVW 
return and Steve, one of my favorite new additions to the OVW roster and Helica Risk. She, she's called herself one spicy quesadilla and Steve, she is a spitfire. Uh, you're absolutely right. Looking to make a name for herself in OVW and doing it against the All-American Suckups here tonight. Sweethearts, OVW fan favorites in short order, Steve, and pioneers of this growing OVW women's tag division. I will say, they were a part of the best women's match that I have ever seen live here at the Davis Arena. But are they going to be able to continue this momentum, continue everything that they've had going for them up to this point here tonight? Well, Steve, they're definitely bringing a lot of attention to this OVW women's tag team division. They, like you said, they've been putting on great matches after great matches, bringing the best out of their opponents even. And now, you see Angelica Riss, Shauna Reed saying, you know, maybe a win over these two moves us on up the ladder. I mean, they're arguably at the top of that tag team ladder right now. You gotta wonder what Shauna Reed has been up to since the last time that we saw her, saw her here under the bright lights here, thanks to DC Productions. Shauna Reed, there we go, back now. Sophia Rose in the corner, oh! Ducks under. Uh, a little bit of caution there, not wanting to make a mistake, and now tagging in Angelica Risk. See, we saw Angelica debut in the Nightmare Rumble earlier this year, and she fought tooth and nail. Really went for it, but wasn't able to pick up the victory, but since then has been fighting through the OVW Women's Division, picking up some big wins over the last several weeks. She has been feisty, to say the least, and she's going to need to reach down and pull out that extra something here tonight against the All-American suck -ups. Again, we got, we got the joke the first time. The All-American Sweethearts here, Sophia Sweethearts. Rose. Oh, I have it. Oh, I just have it wrong on my sheet. Said headlock to the side, headlock dig over there, taking down Helica. Look at that fancy footwork there from Helica. Oh, that's my own name, right? Never mind. Oh, hold on, got in that waist lock. Ripcord there, but oh, and Helica going for a kick to the midsection. Sophia too fast. Drives her right to the mat, face first. There, assisted backflip. Oh, quick kick up and Helica Ladybird now legal in this tag team matchup. And ooh, double missile drop kick. Working on the same page, these two. Shauna Reed has had enough of these two do gooders. You see, we've seen Shauna's aggressive side time and time again here in OVW. We've seen her in. I mean, you know, main event matches, challenge for the OVW Women's Championship. You gotta think she wants to get back into contendership, wants to get back towards the top of the ladder and a win here with Angelica Risk over all American sweethearts who've been on a winning streak. That might just do it. Oh, a little forearm there to throw in the corner right in front of the referee. Double team now. Lady Bird in trouble. Oh! Double spinning back elbow. And listen to this crowd trying to cheer on Lady Bird unsuccessfully. The crowd's only going to be able to do so much, but she was able to kick out at one, but now she is in the wrong corner. Ooh, head first into that top turnbuckle. See, that is a thin turnbuckle under that, a metal barrier, and Lady Bird's head being thrown right into it, and Helico Riss not holding back here. And now, the quick tags coming back in. Shauna Reed, who out of this match is the OVW veteran. And we're blatant choke in the corner there from Shauna Reed. Oh, big well, the, chop. If the ref's not going to do anything about it, I say have fun. Now, see, over the last couple of weeks, we have seen the All-American Sweethearts. Oh, God, big chop there. Having issues with the Bad Girls Club, getting tied into their drama with Freya. Well, everybody's got issues with the Bad Girls Club, it seems, and I, I don't see why. I have no reason. It doesn't make sense to me. Well, they don't work in a way that they make a lot of friends outside of their core four. Right now, All-American Sweetheart's got to focus on Shauna Reed and Helica Risk, who've been ooh, very impressive as a tag. And look at Lady Birds picking up impressive. Well, that is one way to make a tag. Sophia Rose in, fresh woman in this matchup. Ooh, taking down both Shauna Reed and Helica Risk here. Kicks her twice. Now Helica Risk coming in. Stacked up in the corner here. Bit of a splash there, keeping them in place. And hold on. Are you kidding me? Double, double, 
Bulldog squared? <laughs> what? of natural sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow, the wrestling brand. And now, the Wix Pizza Rewind. Tony Evans is telling you to do the right thing. Oh, there we go. Tony Evans tagging Tiffany. Now Haley making sure she's in the match. Oh, no, I think he is boiling over here. Oh, oh. Making, but Haley J in wait. Oh, down. There we go. That was the Wix Pizza Rewind. Wix Pizza on Baxter Avenue and Heights Lane in Louisville. What makes the Bad Girls Club so undeniable? Well, for starters, I'm so naturally talented. I'm the best at everything. I'm naturally beautiful. I mean, look, from my hair to the tip of my toes, I'm naturally perfect. I can't say that for some of you. All right, all right, all right. But there's no I in team, so I 
think it's very important that we remember the value in us working together and sticking together as a team. Because let me say something. This is my fourth title reign as OBW Women's Champion. And if I must say, it's my most important reign. Because I'm not just a champion for myself, I'm a champion for the whole group. So when I eat, Hema eats. And when I eat, Ellie eats. And when I eat, you eat. Which is exactly why I plan on taking this title and this group to new heights. So if anybody in the back thinks that they can take this title from me, please, I'd love to see you try. Cause you saw how quickly I disposed the Freya on Tuesday. some of the most beautiful women around. Am I not right? And the most athletic and clearly the most competitive of any group of women I've ever been around. I have all, you have all of my utmost respect, ladies. And I gotta tell you, instead of waiting in line, I think that everyone here with OVW, the fans would agree, instead of us making a line, Let's just make a fatal four-way between Freya, Tiffany, and Haley, and Layla. 
for the OVW Women's Title this Saturday night at March Mayhem. I can't believe it. I don't think this is fair at all for the champ. Mark Mayhem, sponsored by the unit, just got a little more mayhem heavy at Fatal 4-Way. Oh, oh, bro, these, these fruit booties. Man, can you believe these fruit booties are everywhere, these bro. They're booties, after, man. They're can't after. get away from them. They're after. Can't wait till Saturday, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, you idiot. Yeah, man. Come on, damn it. What the hell? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ninety percent of natural sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. too good when I put my hand up I close my hand I say hush that means you shut your ignorant mouths ref rope me ring now Now, there were three masked men that saw fit to come out and ruin the beatdown that Cal Hero was getting. Three masked men that took out Cal Hero, that tried to take out Jay De Niro and myself. Hush! As you can see, we're still standing 
right here, strong, solid in this ring. That's more than I can say for Cal Hero, and that's damn sure more than I can say for him Saturday when I take my championship back. I said when I take my championship back. So I'm in a less than stellar mood right now. So if there's anybody back there that's got a pair on them and wants a piece of superior Tony Evans. Come get Introducing his opponent from Helsinki, Finland. Ragnar Ruthless! Ragnar sees Tony Evans, a former Country Boy Brewing second weight champion. I feel like Ragnar was a little rude. I feel like Tony had a tiny bit more to say. And this Viking character seems to have had enough. And I don't know, that was off putting. Oh, that felt pretty rude. That reminds me. Hush. Oh, hey now. Folks, we want to go ahead and send a uh, heartfelt feel better soon out to Tommy Ken from DC Productions, where you hear all the time about the beautiful lights of DC Productions here, and they wouldn't be possible without our guy Tommy, so get well soon, pal. We're all praying for you. We know you're going to kick out it too, and we'll see you here soon. Tony Evans now squaring off with Ragnar. Steve, you got to respect Ragnar. He saw an opportunity. He wasn't expecting to be fighting tonight, and Tony Evans, open challenge. Look at that, Ragnar ready for the cheap shot. And De Niro with just his presence at ringside, acting as a distraction for Ragnar. The superior one looked to take advantage of it, but this beautiful power slam. The Tony Evans style power slam. But that quickness is just, it, it is with him, he doesn't get you fully hooked, he does it fast enough to where you don't even have time to counter. Tony Evans is a very meticulous competitor. And that confidence, he's not liking in that department either. Tony Evans, not unfounded confidence, though, Steve. Again, a multi-time Country Boy Brewing Kentucky Heavyweight Champion, which has now turned into that OVW Media Championship. But some big, big wins Tony Evans pulled off over the last year. He is going to have so much championship gold around his waist as his career goes on. Right now, he's just got to look at <laughs> all of this is merely a speed bump on his road to glory. Well, see, he's talking about speed bumps, Steve, but sometimes it looks like Tony Evans is his own worst enemy. I mean, stomping the man's hand, the cheap shots, the, you know, the talking smack, crap, smack when you should be just, you know, again, right back on the attack with your opponent. Tony Evans, he gets in his way quite a bit. You call it what you want. I call it efficient and effective professional wrestling. And right now he is ripping apart Ragnar, especially in the facial region and the beard. Rip it! Now we just see a fire get lit under Tony Evans when Mick Foley was uh, personally grading him here for uh, several weeks. And Tony Evans, week after week, tried to improve his grade. Tried to prove to Mick Foley he's an A-plus player here. Cheating. Oh, no oh, good. Oh. Hall of Famer Mick Foley. Exploding European there on Ragnar. Tony Evans, look at this, has slowed down the pace of this match. He is dictating the pace and now has Ragnar right where he wants him. Oh! Strong right hand, bit of a closed fist there right from the referee. Referee Shane Chess being a little lenient here, Steve. A right hand, as great as it was, not quite like the big red right hand of Big De Niro, known to knock people out left and right. Ragnar now. Ragnar. Yep, feeling that Viking rage, Steve. Not going to Valhalla quite yet. Ragnar taking down Tony Evans, not letting that opportunity slip through his Viking fingers. Tony Evans has given Ragnar too many opportunities here. Too much. Oh, going for a bit of a, look like a pump handle slam there. Tony Evans seized up, not allowing him to be pulled up. Brilliant counter wrestling there. Oh, and there it is, the spinning back fist. Gonna make a man hush, by God, that'll do it. That'll make him hush right in the mush there. Tony Evans commanding win over Ragnar. Hush! Your winner of this match, Superior Tony Evans! This Saturday, March Mayhem, if Tony Evans hits that spinning back fist, that oh, might be hush for Cal Heroes. It's over. over Lights out. Championship ring.
90% of natural sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. If you've ever dreamed of being part of professional wrestling or sports entertainment, make that dream a reality and attend the world-famous Harvard of Pro Wrestling, the OVW Academy with Al Snow, the birthplace of legends including Batista, John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, and many more. Will you be the next name added to that impressive list? Visit OVWAcademy.com and apply now. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. Anything goes and anything will happen. But beyond that, we have got the Double Jeopardy Tag Team match. Tony Gunn and Luke Curtis versus EC3 and Jack Vaughn. If Tony Gunn or Luke Curtis pick up the win, they will win the respective championship. But enough about that. We've got stuff to worry about here tonight. That was a mouthful. Let's go ahead and get into the action. Linda Kay, my ma'am, tell them who's fighting. The following contest is a tag team match. Scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the fallen, the team of ZDP and the Nephilim. Yeah, don't back up any further because I'm behind you. I'm a ninja. Good Lord, ZDP foaming at the mouth. Demon spread those wings and that smoke billowing. The Fallen are just otherworldly. So they former tag team champions as well, so they're not just scary. They know how to get the job done. The last time I saw the man, he stole my shoe. But enough about that. ZDP, who has had his bell rung more often than not these past few weeks. And their opponent. The team of the 80s, baby! TW3 and the mammoth Donovan Cecil! They are Tars and Chains! Let's well, way to get to the ring. You gotta conserve energy, Brian. Well, TW3, I don't think energy is something he's short on. Neither is his partner, this Kentucky strongest man, Donovan Cecil. See this crowd. Energized by Tuscan Chains. One thing that these two men are short on is experience as a tag team. Going up against the Fallen, who have been raised in the depths of hell together. See, these two have gelled together like gummy bears left in a hot car on a summer day so incredibly quickly. TW3 and Donovan Cecil, they tag like a team that's been together for years. And this, the, and we already know, this Saturday, they're looking for more action. They're asking management to get into action. Just because you had the interview with them this last week on Overdrive doesn't mean you need to blow so much smoke up their behind, Brian. Tell us, smoke up. They're not your friends. Just get Oh, look at the CDP. Farrell running full head, steam ahead into TW3. T-Dub Duck. Look at that. Hey, deep arm drag. Out of his mouth? Hey, I don't want to know. I don't. No, tell never mind. I shouldn't have asked. 
I don't know where all those rags hanging off his body are. ZDP lives in a world we can't fully fathom. Now Donovan Cecil, though, a man whose power we can't fully fathom. A man who is a world unto his own. Big Donnie C of Tuscan Chains. Another quick tag back in. ZDP knows no fear, but even he's begging off from the strength of Donovan Cecil. Beautiful tag team maneuver there, taking out the arm of ZDP. You know, if he would use his teeth, I feel like he's good with his teeth. Talking yeah. about ZDP. Yeah, the educated teeth of the fall and come into play quite often, Steve. Those bicuspids will bite you if they get the opportunity to. Look at this, double team Irish whip. Oh, big shoulder blocks. Huge double shoulder blocks. ZDP ground into the mat. You got his teeth up. Bring out that personality of Donovan Cecil. Big double. They're Elbow getting there. Drop. They're getting there. The fluidity is it's coming along. Donovan's got rhythm and he's got style. And T Dub helping him find it. This team finding their groove though and really isolating ZDP, keeping this ring cut in half. ZDP not able to get anything going before yet another tag made back in to TW3. It's hard to tell when ZDP's writhing in pain when it's his typical like nine. But right now I think it's pain. Oh, hold on. We just saw that switch flip though. And look at that cranium to that turnbuckle. You see, if you mentioned, he's taking a lot of shots to the head as of late ZDP. A little out of his gourd. Oh, gosh. And Tito Goodness. bringing that knee. Another one. Knee right to the face. But if you notice, Steve, it was that bad knee of TW. He's had issues with thanks to Beaches and Cream. Well, now ZDP has a bad face because of it. Oh, look, look at that. Donovan, Donovan kissing the head. Or, sorry, Damone kissing the head of Donovan? Well, that's only going to get you so far with the big man. Hold on, Donovan thinking something big here in the corner. Oh, nobody home. The whole damn ring moved. Oh, D Damone, head full of steam, taking over that top rope on his own accord. Skinning the cat, figuratively, not literally, though. I have I have my suspicions. Seems like some following with you. Look at that. What a real toss, Donovan Cecil. Ten feet in the air. <laughs> what a massive spinning forearm there. Dropping ZDP, who just went plank style, just flat. Moan Solovino being dropped like a bad habit. And hold on. Tuscan Chain, Steve. What the funk are they doing? Oh, no. What the? Dropping them like a disco ball. Flattened Damone. Your winners of this match, Tuss and Chains. Tuscan Chains with the win over former OVW Tag Team Champion. Steve, these guys hey, they show some, some good dance on. moves. Hey, we gotta what have your attention. Tuscan Chicken Sandwich, or whatever your name is. I know you're new here, and I'd like to introduce myself as one of the members of the Overmen. And in case you haven't noticed, we run things here. We run OVW. We definitely run the Tag Team Division. And last week you caught us a man down, and we had a man step up, and you should be real proud of the way you took advantage of the radio champion. But I got news for you. We've got reach, we've got network, and we are constantly adding to the Overmen. So allow me to introduce you to our newest member. That's right, baby. Oh my He's God. Bo! Now you didn't know, but Bo knows, and Bo's about to tell you so that you will know. Say hi to the newest member of the Overmen. Hey, I think he's the Boverman. Clever. Hey, let's make it personal. Let's be face to face. We're men here. Oh, Bo Lamir! Dropping Tita with that massive boot and chopping Donovan like he's nothing. See, that's not a new member of the Overmen. That's a weapon of mass destruction. Single-handedly taking out Tuscan Chains. Big Bo, the newest member of the Overmen. Kenneth and I cannot believe what I'm seeing. You thought the Overmen were a threat before. Tuscan Chains going to war with the Overmen. They dropped a Botomic bomb here tonight. Power bomb from Bo Amir. The raw strength of that man. Bo, just so powerful and imposing, and now part of the Overmen. 
arguably making them one of the most, if not the most powerful group in all oh, of this professional wrestling. Oh Did you God. see how high oh. Donovan Cecil just driven through the mat? What the hell is going on? Bo knows. And now you know. The Overman. on its first ever North American tour sponsored by Danos and we can't wait to see you live. Get ready, London, Kentucky. We're headed your way March 30th at the Laurel London Optimist Club. Bell time, 7 p.m. Friday, April 26th, OBW is coming to Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, and Marathon Music Works. Also on Friday, April 26th, we'll be live in Louisville, downtown at the waterfront once again this year as part of the Kentucky Derby Festival and our annual Run for the Ropes event. Plus, the Derby festivities continue on Thursday, May 2nd, back down on the waterfront for a special live TV broadcast of OVW Rise. We'll see you downtown on the waterfront for that one. And Friday, May 31st, OVW heads north to Des Plaines, Illinois for the first time ever, the Des Plaines Theater, bell time at 8 p.m. It's the first ever OVW National Tour presented by Danos. Get your tickets today and experience OVW Live. Wireless Arena. Tickets at OVWTix.com. Let's cut the chit chat. A hole. Do you know who I am? Do you know where I've been? Do you know what I hold? I am the OVW National Champion. It is my territory. I am the Lord. I am the Magistrate. I am the Law of Ohio Valley Wrestling. Upon that, I am the NWA. World Heavyweight Champion. I belong in the historical lineage of the Flares, the Fezzes, the Steamboats, the Rhodes. And you, who, what, this, out, this, what, who, huh, what, this, that, what, who, huh, what, this, that, who, March 16th, double jeopardy. Tony Gunn, you shoot blanks. Luke Curtis, you were hot for about 4.5 seconds and you have been exposed. Jack Vaughn, my partner, plan to win. And I hope you do too. But Jack, do know that ring to me is not a serial one, two, three, one, tap out, finish. Ring to me is that I leave the Davis Arena. Oh, the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion and the OVW National Champion. Thus spoke E. C three. Still the best of this shit too. Untouchable. Fuck me. To reach a status of hashtag over champ champ, do you know what you have to be? You have to be ruthless. You have to be relentless. You have to be persistent. You have to enjoy suffering both yourself and infliction. You have to be a cunning linguist. You have to be a philosopher. You have to be a warrior. You have to be a poet. You have to be everything that nobody else is. And there is not one person on this roster. There's not one person in this sport. There's not one person in this world that compares to I, the one true Hover Man. Man. Only I can make you certified, certified, certified. Making his way to the ring. Certified Luke Curtis! Yeah! 
You know, I'm getting real sick and tired of coming out here week after week and calling out EC3, who for some reason just can't seem to show up. So I know at some point tonight he's probably going to pop up on that screen. Can't even bother to record the video horizontal. Brother, you know the phone turns sideways, right? <laughs> so EC3, I will be making my way back to the world's championship before it's all said and done. And on Saturday at March Mayhem, if I have to pin EC3 and win the national championship, or I have to pin Jack Vaughn and win the heavyweight championship, whatever gold goes around my waist will finally return back to the prestige that it once was. In the row. Way to make an entrance, Jack. Come on out. Very strong words, Luke. Yes, that's right. Saturday night at March Mayhem, we have a huge tag team match with not just one, but two championships on the line. If Lou Curtis or Tony Gunn is able to pin EC3, they're the national champion. If for some reason one of these losers is able to pin me, they're the OVW heavyweight champion. Now, Luke, I know what you're up to. You want to prove that you belong at the top of the card? You want to prove that you belong in the main event with guys like Jack Vaughn? Well, Saturday night, boy, I'm going to expose you for the fraud that you are. And Tony Gunn, how many times do I have to beat you before you will leave me alone? And EC3, the worst part about Saturday night is that I can't be the one that pins you. But I'm willing to put our differences aside for the common good. But EC3, I'll let you know this. If you try to get one over on me, I'm at least three steps ahead. Because I'm the veteran Jack Vaughn, and I am the last real professional wrestler. Shotgun Tony Curtis Vaughn, EC3, the person that never shows up when he needs to. We're in a, quite a situation here, boys, come March Mayhem this Saturday. Vaughn, the only reason why you have that title is because of Enzo. Curtis, I've been watching you ever since I've been here, ever since you've been here, and I respect what you're doing. I respect that you left the Overmen. You have it. You're going to be a OVW heavyweight champion. It's just not going to be this Saturday. Because one of two things are going to happen. Either I'm going to take home that national title from EC3 or Jack Vaughn, I'm going to beat you again to become a four-time heavyweight champion. <laughs> click, click, boom. Uh-oh, what, what the, the hell? Bitches is in Craven, Golden Lions by Nanny Tony Gunn. Laying down the gun for this Saturday. These guys 
They've been fighting throughout Davis Arena, now making their way out into Davis Arena. They've been Arena. fighting throughout the whole damn city of Louisville. This has been a chaotic night for these four men, Steve. Beaches and Cream been trying no to- No one invited you idiots out of here. What are you pursuit. doing? This Saturday, it's all leading to a bar brawl, or bar room brawl between these four men. I don't know if a bar room brawl is even going to be enough to satisfy what these four men are going to do to one another. Folks, March Mayhem, sponsored by the unit, is this Saturday. Make sure you get your ticket for the pay-per-view at OBWTicks.com right now. You are just going to get a small taste of mooj bouge of what you can expect this Saturday. For two hours, these men have been fighting, all four of them. That's the hatred that's fueling them, Steve, fighting for over an hour, two hours of just punching each other, kicking each other, getting wherever you can get purchased, doing damage. Look at this, double chokeslam from the Golden Lions. Straight through the damn ring. And Omar Amir in a bad situation in there alone with the Golden Lions, and their fangs are bared, Steve. But Lush is trying to save Omar from that same fate he just suffered. Oh, thank goodness. Beaches and Cream did nothing wrong. Beaches and Cream. Look at that, trying to get away. Hold on, what? Cashflow! Don't be so insane from Cashflow! Are you kidding me? Like a damn one supplement! Folks, we're on our way to March Mayhem this Saturday, but the mayhem is palpable here in Davis Arena right now.